Nicholas and myself are here to discuss uh, an intriguing clash at Stamford Bridge this coming Saturday between Chelsea and Aston Villa. Nicholas is, a, is an ardent Aston Villa fan, lucky chap, and um, Nicholas, this is a tough game for both sides, isn't it? It is, it is, yes. Last time I was in this game, it was in this programme, it was actually the Chelsea Villa game, and I predicted Villa to, to win that one. Yes. Which they actually did. I think and this is going to be a tougher one all around, though, isn't it? I mean, your record at, at Stamford Bridge is not stunning. I think no. I looked up and you haven't won there since 2002. No, that's right, and uh, it's going to be another hard afternoon for Villa. Yeah. Chelsea have only lost points against Everton and City at home this season, so I don't think But I, I think probably if there was a time to play Chelsea, it's now. They are I under, a, well I think so, they're under a certain bit of pressure. They've been knocked out of the Champions League. They are under pressure, they absolutely have to, to come good in the Premiership this season. Yeah. And they're four points behind, so this is a must-win match for them. I'd rather lose uh, this one than the semi-final against Chelsea in the FA Cup though. <laughs> Well, I don't personally see you losing. I think Villa are on a run of six unbeaten games. I think Chelsea wobbling a little bit. Okay. Um, personally, I'm going for a draw in this match. I'm sceptic for this one. Sorry, sorry, all Villa fans he must, out there. He must be a West Ham fan in disguise. <laughs> He's not backing his own team there with any confidence. I'm very worried. Well, anyway, good luck. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Cheers.